Welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm here to bring to you another EFC 24-7 news report this evening. And there's a little bit of transfer news to bring to you, so it's a nice and quick report tonight, pretty much. But, uh, yeah, as it stands, and, and when you're probably watching this, I'm not sure if Everton will be top of the league or not. Obviously, we we look, as it stands at the moment, it's 3-1 to Leicester against Man City, and they've knocked us off top, uh, top spot on goal difference. But, yeah, obviously, uh, another win yesterday, 2-1 win, grounded out, so... Good stuff up there. Three out of three can't complain. So yeah, it, on on um with regards to the transfer news today, the Sunday people came out with quite an interesting report to say that West Ham are looking to sign Everton's Seamus Coleman to bolster their squad. Now, I'm not sure how that's been invented or what's it what it's based on at all. I suppose the only thing we can think about is the fact that he played well yesterday and he used to play for David Moyes and. Uh, David Moyes might want to bring him back but I think the start of the season that the players made has been fantastic and it's quite cl- it's quite clear that he's very much part of Carlo Ancelotti's plans and Carlo came out with some nice quotes about the player yesterday uh, and, and over the last few weeks as well saying he's a, he could be a future manager he said that a few weeks ago uh, yesterday I think he said uh, he's a massive part of the squad and uh, I think last week as well he said he, c- he can play until he's 40 so uh, I don't think he's going anywhere anytime soon Seamus Coleman so that one's just paper talk and that's uh, probably the most confident I can, I, can, I can be about it being paper talk purely uh, out of all the rumours I've brought to you this summer so far so yeah uh, it doesn't feel like summer anymore but uh, Tuto Sport again out of Italy we've had lots of transfer news coming out of Italy and not, lots of transfer news coming from uh, Napoli uh, Napoli players this summer obviously with Carlo Ancelotti looking to apparently raid his old club according to reports but obviously he's gone in for a land but that's that's been about it uh, but the reports state that Everton are now convinced to pay 25 million euros for Napoli striker Milik uh, com- convinced to pay I think that might be a, a error in translation because I'm not how can they be convinced to pay 25 million euros but anyway uh, there's a few other clubs interested in the player as well such as Tottenham Hotspur apparently and a couple of other top Italian sides as well but I think that's paper talk as well, so I can pretty much write that one off as well. But uh, will we need cover? Uh, Moise Keane has been rumoured with a move back to Juve. I don't think that's going to happen either, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, some proper news coming out of Everton today. Uh, Everton women have, have made it through to the semi-final of the Women's FA Cup with a 2-1 win against Chelsea. Now, Chelsea women, for anyone who knows anything about women's football at the moment, Chelsea are an unbelievable side, a really top side. Uh, and... They've just Everton women have just uh, have just beaten them two one, which is absolutely massive. Uh, so with Chelsea out of the cup now, that gives Everton a massive chance to progress into the final and maybe even winning the women's FA Cup. Uh, so it looks very much to Everton ladies, Everton women, as they're called now, are back uh, back to the top of their game as they were uh, several years ago when they used to always battle out for the title. I know they suffered some tough years, but now they look to be back to the top of the game again. Uh, now I brought you a couple, uh, well, some news a couple of days ago to do with Imam Yangna, who is a young, very young uh, player, 16 years old, who has been rumoured with a move to Everton's under-23 setup. He's a tw- Swedish teenager coming from BK Hacken, and uh, the Echo understand that the Blues have yet to make make, make a decision over Yangna, but talks have taken place with the club. Uh, with a three-year contract being touted. Now, Hacken's sporting director, Sonny Carlson, has recently told local media, yes, it should go through, I think so. We've had a good discussion with both him and Everton, but it's not clear yet. So, that one looks to go through. Obviously, we're looking to strengthen our ranks in terms of the youth. As a reporter, obviously, Niels and Kunku was brought in for the under-23 setup, and it now looks like he will take his place in the first team after a string of impressive performances. So, Yagna looks to be coming in, young midfield, to strengthen the youth setup, and maybe working with the likes of David Unsworth, Leighton Baines in his new role, potentially. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the transfer news coming out of Everton today, as well as the women's news, obviously. So, uh, good news on that front, and pretty much paper talk apart from that but that's that's all the rumours to bring to you so let us know what you think do you do you disagree with me is it is it any more than paper talk let us know in the comments and it'd be interesting to take some more points of view on that one but yeah let us know but uh, thanks as always for watching this video and yeah join us next time on the toffee blues